Wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. <laughs> Welcome back to another exciting episode of PM in the AM podcast. We are excited to be back. Yeah, we, we missed a week there. I think two. Uh, Was it two? Yeah. We just got busy, you know, life happens. You got to blame that on the homework. In my case, you know, it's starting to pile up. It's already a rough semester. So apologize for that. But don't think we stopped thinking about the podcast. We have been brainstorming this whole time. And we're excited to be able to have some time to get together this week and, and come together with another episode. Yeah, and we got a, we got a bracket coming up that's, that's right in my wheelhouse. It's uh, something that I'm an expert in. So yeah, and I can attest I, to that. I've put a lot of thought <laughs> into it over these past, these past weeks. So I'm ready to go, ready to win another bracket. Have you won one yet? Um, I want, the one thing that I've ever won was the news story. When I talked about the guy accidentally donating uh, dynamite, dynamite to the, to the DI. DI. and I hold yeah. that very dear to me. Now that was the one. only thing that I have ever won. That was a good on one. Well, I hate to break it to you, it's not going to start now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So make sure you listen to the end of the episode. We're going to have our our seeding round. We're going to set up our bracket to to do another one that we're we're excited about. So just to get us started this week, I uh, have been dwelling on some pro tips over the last few weeks. And the first one takes me actually on to campus at school where, you know, things have been kind of limited this year, but I do have some on per, or in-person classes. And okay. so the class I'm thinking about, you know, there's probably about 35 people that go. No, not even That's that many. Lot. Maybe like 30, 25. It start, you know, it starts out with more at the beginning of the semester and they kind of dwindle and, and whatever. Uh, right. But the first pro tip is to, if you're going to invest in a college education, you should spend a little on a laptop before you go. <laughs> Not saying I don't have a laptop. Are you speaking from? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm, this, is, this is a direct shot at my HP terrible laptop because this thing, for some reason, the fan in it is sounds like a jet engine when it decides to cool the laptop the, off. <laughs> the fan is not the problem. <laughs> it's one of the problems. I w- and so like I'm sitting there in, uh, what was it? Statistics kind of in, in the back, you know, minding my own business. And for some reason it, it sounded like that my laptop was on a runway. It's like, <laughs> and it started getting, I like, thought it was going up. to, it must've been so hot because the fan was running at such a high rate. People around me started like looking at me and I'm like, uh, I like smacked it twice to like see if that would do anything didn't do anything so I just shut the screen I was like I'm not taking notes anymore I would rather be did that the- stop it uh yeah it does it stops it I, <laughs> I if you throw that in the backpack I mean maybe it didn't stop it but <laughs> it covers up the sound <laughs> no I I just want to point out that I can attest that Porter's not <laughs> lying now granted you guys it's not going full-on uh turbo blast right now but it did take about 16 minutes for it to power on <laughs> yeah maybe it's uh all the basketball games i've streamed um on it or on nba.com highly <laughs> legal websites that yeah that yeah use. uh nba game pass um but <laughs> i don't know what it is but it is very slow and and i actually did get it from the place of employment where blake works at a different store and i was uh I very disappointed with my salesman there i didn't sell it to him so i would <laughs> like to, disappointed. i would like that disclaimer right now all my Customers leave with only high-end pieces. <laughs> they don't leave with a laptop that sounds like a jet engine <laughs> after spending a decent amount of money. We're not going to get into the specifics there, but I do have another pro tip that I think is very key as well. So I've made a mistake that I don't want anybody else to make. Um, this one's kind of embarrassing. It's, this is a really stupid story, but um, so I have a nightstand right next to my bed and I had my, you know, my remote on there, my PlayStation controllers, all the good stuff there. Oh, the really important things. I yeah, see. yeah. Uh, you know, like the retainer, all that stuff. Anyway, I accidentally had knocked my remote off of the nightstand one night and it fell into my garbage can. Oh, and that was like the first time all month or year that I've actually decided to empty my garbage was the day and after. You, and you threw it away. I threw away my remote, dude. I was so sad. And then like I go outside and just the timing of it was wrong because we have what's called Valley Trash. So at my apartment complex, they'll come pick up the trash like bougie. That's yeah. I, you live in a nice, <laughs> no, no, nice no, no. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, but it was like they do that like once a day at 7 p.m. And the one time the whole month I had decided to clear my trash can. 
was like at 645. <laughs> so at about 715, I go to turn my TV on and I go, oh crap. And I realized, cause it's happened multiple times. Like I'd accidentally dropped my phone in there and been close to throwing it away. So that's why oh, I, that <laughs> would be so much worse. <laughs> that's why my second pro tip is don't put a garbage can under your nightstand don't, where you put valuables. Don't take out the trash. Well, the trash is necessary. But don't put valuables above the trash in a position where they're going <laughs> to fall in. What would be the worst thing to lose in a trash? Would it be your phone? I think so, because my phone has my wallet on it. So that would be everything. I, I was going to say, it's kind of between <laughs> a phone and a wallet or maybe like a... I'd lose phone and ID and... Maybe a nice piece of expensive jewelry. Yeah, I guess. Well, yeah, like if it was like a keepsake, like a wedding ring or something, and you put it like on the nightstand. Ooh, and it's wedding like, ring. Yeah, would, would you rather lose your wallet, your phone, or your wedding ring? You're not married, but. Yeah, definitely the ring, the CTR ring in my case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if my wife loses her wedding ring, she's not getting another one. I'm getting her a, one of them rubber ones off of, off of Amazon. <laughs> Hey, it means the same thing, right? It means the same. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's all about the sentimental value, like you were saying. Absolutely. It's not about the material wealth. Thank you. And that's why I now have to uh, hit the manual buttons on my TV whenever I want to fire it up. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you're still able to to work work your TV because I'm pretty sure I've seen it and it's <laughs> it's about as good as your laptop. <laughs> You knocking out so you call my apartment nice and then you knock on well, everything. Well, I mean, when you have a nice, nice apartment, you got valet <laughs> trash. You got little weight butlers coming to your door side to pick up your garbage. I, mean, I wouldn't call them that. You don't you don't have that much left over for the TV and laptop. <laughs> That's apparently. true. That's so true. you gotta you gotta pick what's important to you. My spending habits are mixed up. I've finally come to realize that. <laughs> well, speaking of spending habits. I have oh, that I was have, a good segue. <laughs> I know. And then somebody had to chime in and ruin it. I was all proud of myself. Oh, we've never had such a good segue. I had to say something. <laughs> well, speaking of spending habits, <laughs> I have some Blake's buys that I am pretty excited about this week. One of these um, strikes real close to home because not many of the listeners probably know my mother. So we're going to, we're going to take some time to get to know her. That's uh, interesting. No, she's a wonderful lady. I love her to death. And this is not knocking on her by any means. This is a good thing about her. But one of the facts about her is that she loves ice cream more than probably any human. So did you always have some in your freezer growing up? We didn't just have some in no the freezer. Way. Like we had Whoa. at least like double digit containers at a no time like it, we way. have so many like we'd say all right we want we want to have some ice cream tonight and we'd pull it out and there would be stacks on the counter like you could make a little pyramid out of ice cream on these things that's actually really impressive that's that's awesome i think that's it, every kid's dream, it was right? it was wonderful the best thing ever was after she would go grocery shopping <laughs> she'd come home and she'd always have to sample them and so oh. she'd open all she'd buy like four at a time and she'd open them all up and we'd get a spoon and just try each one. Wow. And it was, and it was great. So. All right. So <laughs> will you change that number to one for the sake of my story here? Yes. All right. So. If yeah, if you live one was fair, it would be a crappy vanilla. Oh man, what a it would sad be, yeah, child yeah. you had. Oh yeah. my goodness. Agreed. Um, that was that's the, like the second worst flavor. We went through like a health kick, and that's why I weigh a hundred pounds right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my family was not the healthiest when it came to ice cream, but we understand that there are people that only have one. They might be yeah. a little boring. So what I found, it's a Ben and Jerry's Euphoria Lock Ooh. ice cream combination lock. <laughs> that's a long name but basically all it is it's a little lid that goes over the ice cream container lid okay and then you there's a combination lock so when you have ice cream that you know you buy there's not a lot of ice cream at your house so you don't uh, want your brother or your sister or in my case my mom opening up the freezer and stealing the ice cream you put a little lock on there and that's yours 
I don't know how I feel about that though, because I feel like my parents would have been the ones locking it, and I would have been. <laughs> that's, I would have been out of luck. That's right there. probably actually that's yeah. My mom would have locked the ice cream so that I couldn't eat it, which would be way more sad. So maybe don't buy this one. <laughs> <I> <laughs> You've think... talked yourself out of it. <laughs> it could be good though, because if you just slap it on there, nobody knows what it is. They're just sitting there trying to pick the lock, and, and little do they know you've got the ice cream lock on there. Right, and so, and it just says Ben and Jerry's right on the side, so you know it's going to be quality because they don't make anything that's bad. Yeah. So I, I concur. So look that up. It's for twenty four bucks on Amazon. Not too bad. That's a pretty good. It's going to last you forever. So. I'll take it. The next one I have is going in a completely different direction. And I like to call these two that I have where mm -hmm. you have ice cream. And this next one is a cologne. Oh, no. <laughs> ice so, cream. So this is for the ice cream is for the heartbroken. And the cologne is for people who are trying to win people back. Okay. Okay. And this is dirt scented cologne that's not for somebody trying to win somebody back <laughs> that's for somebody trying to smell disgusting and like they were farming potatoes all day i mean it actually does come from a farm like i would imagine let me see if i can find here on their website i'm looking this the up. reviews have to be terrible um actually i didn't check the reviews because it has four and a half stars of why would you want why would you choose to smell like dirt I mean, without okay. just rolling in the dirt here's the thing about the reviews you kind of have to take them with a yeah. uh, what's it called a pinch of salt the grain of salt I think. <laughs> a, a <laughs> pinch grain, is for cooking a grain of salt <laughs> is probably a better way to do it unless you need a lot of a salt. tablespoon of salt <laughs> <laughs> because i mean if if you're buying dirt scented cologne you're probably going to be pleased with the product. It's not like yeah. people are getting it expecting. Um, I see it more as a gag gift if that's what you're getting at. Yeah. But I mean, just listen. So this company, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Demeter, Demeter, who knows? They have a whole bunch of different smells. So, I mean, some of them are like a little more normal, but like pineapple, One's grass. Ew. They have another oh. one that's called thunderstorm, kitten fur. Uh. So, I mean, but I just am so intrigued because apparently people say that it smells like um, dirt. Dirt. People <laughs> say that it smells like dirt. No, but it comes out of a, a farm in Pittsburgh or somewhere like that. Pennsylvania somewhere, I think. And people say it smells like mosquito repellent. Oh. So I don't know if you can use it as a mosquito repellent. Oh. But I am Hard pretty pass. pretty interested in in dirt cologne. You know so, the feeling of putting mosquito repellent on where you're like all sticky and nasty after? I just had a, a oh. an epiphany. I know who this is for. This is for the same people who use farmers only. <laughs> if if you're using farmers only as a dating service, you need to go get yourself some dirt scented cologne because i guarantee you when you go to pick up your date she's going to either have grass <laughs> or Ooh. thunderstorm scent thunderstorm would actually probably be pretty good the only way you're ever going to get a date wearing that cologne is if it's with an earthworm <laughs> <laughs> no telling me that if you took fresh cut grass cologne i hate this and oh, you gross. wouldn't you wouldn't win over every you, single you're gonna bat show in a 45 up and the lady's radius. gonna be like i have grass allergies and then just start <laughs> sniffling you know like oh crap i messed that big i cut. don't know if it contains real grass that's a good point still you're gonna give her ptsd with your grass <laughs> smell though <laughs> oh, you started man. out strong tonight with the ice cream lock i mean i have to give <laughs> a little bit of both those for yeah. the the lonely and those in the dating scene so I think you could benefit from some some dirt cologne. No. I think I know what I'm getting you for your birthday. No. That sounds like a good deal to me. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this segment before it gets any further. But like we said earlier, we are back with another bracket. Um, we got the best cereals of all time oh, coming baby. up after the break. And we're back. All right. <laughs> I'm excited for this segment because like I was saying about my mom with the ice cream, that is what I am to cereal. I yeah, love cereal. I, yeah, I, I remember um, back when we were roommates, 
Blake would eat cereal every night at about 11.30, it's a, it's 12-ish. A, it's a serious problem. I, Blake and Dax. It's the first time. thing I eat in the morning and the last thing I, I eat before I go to bed. Which there's nothing wrong with it. You're right. It's like it's like a dessert for a breakfast meal. They did a good job. <laughs> I mean, that. all breakfast is is pretty much just dessert, and that's why it's the best meal. I, I agree. So, so before we get into, like we said, we're going to do eight cereals for each, um, and then we're going to have you guys vote on our socials. So make sure you're following us on Instagram at PM in the AM podcast and over on Twitter at PM in the AM podcast as well. Mm-hmm. And so you guys will be able to follow the action and vote all week. Don't let me down. please. <laughs> I, I would really appreciate a win. I'm not going to beg, but <laughs> it would be really nice. At this point. <laughs> I've been so sad. <laughs> <laughs> but before we get into that, I just wanted to throw out a couple of cereals that I really hope aren't going to make a list. Oh, if um, if one of if one of mine is on there, you have terrible taste. So I I there's no way because okay. raisin bran. No, it's not on there. Rice krispies. Those make good treats. Yeah, they're yeah. not. They're not. not they, they don't classify as best suit. No way. And other than that, you know, I I don't know if there's necessarily a cereal that I've ran into that I didn't like. I mean, I the only other one that comes to my mind, just from personal experience, are Wheaties. Because okay. they're basically just a worse version of a pretty good cereal. Is that like a frosted mini wheat minus the frosted? No, it's like a frosted flake minus the frosted. Oh, so it's an Ooh. unfrosted flake, is what <laughs> Wheaties are. Because, but Gross. my family on every Christmas morning, before we can open any presents, we got to eat a full bowl of Wheaties. Uh, full bowl of torture. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't taste good. We've tried tricking my dad into swapping them with frosted flakes. It didn't work. <laughs> Um, so that's that's as far as the worst cereal that I eat on a regular basis. I don't eat it on a regular basis, but I eat it a, year. a couple times a year. That's uh, yeah. that's up there for me for sure. So we're good thing. I I don't even think I've ever had Wheaties, so that was definitely not going to be on my list. But I am going to take the number one pick here. And Please don't take my pick. There's, I there's one I want, and you better not take I don't, it. I don't know if this is going to be number one, and I don't know how the people are going to feel about this, but since day one, Cinnamon Toast Crunch no! has been my all-time favorite cereal. No, no, no. That was 100%. That was my first pick. I absolutely love Cinnamon Toast Crunch. There was I – have, I have five here that I really wanted, but Cinnamon Toast Crunch was the one that I wanted above all else. Because that is like a, a a delicious pastry in a in and then the milk tastes amazing. That is one heck of a cereal. Oh man! I believe it's General Mills. You do I done yourself do I just one. go with Golden Grams to 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 get the next closest thing? Is that is that on your list? I was gonna say I liked that one. No, I put Cinnamon Toast Crunch on my list because it's the far superior version. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I think Golden oh. Grams would be a big step down, but I'm not gonna. Tell they you they 100 are a big step down. Because I do can think I'm, I can take a killer for number two. My heart for my third pick. If All you're... right. Well, now I have to really think about it because I was 100 percent set on taking Cinnamon Toast Crunch as my number one. I apologize. There's some um, other good ones out there that I'm thinking. There, of there, there are some good ones left. I think I'm gonna settle with Reese's Puffs. Okay. In the number two spot. Let me write that I'm, down here. I'm, I'm going for votes. People like Reese's Puffs. The people do like Reese's Puffs. And I, I think that out of what I have on my list, it's probably the most popular. Yeah. So that's what I'm rocking with. I'm, I'm happy with it. It's a good cereal. Me For me, it's too sweet. Like, I don't know why I like Cinnamon Toast Crunch and not Reese's Puffs. But yeah, there's I'd no such thing Reese's. as too sweet in any context. Mm. Not a thing. But for number three, I will go with my second favorite cereal of all times, which is Fruity Pebbles. Oh, I'm oh, so glad you took Fruity Pebbles. Absolutely amazing. I'm so glad that you Fruity took Pebbles are so rainbow good. colored oatmeal. It's just no. mush. It, it's like cream of wheat. No. But if you made it fruit flavored. No, it's and not. It's, it's, it has the same consistency. You leave it in milk for longer than 16 seconds. And why would you do that? You've got to be lapping them up right when they hit the... Yeah, but how fast can you really eat that? Uh, you would I mean, it's the, not something you'd want to be eating, get fla- distracted, do something else and come back to. But if you eat it in one sitting, it's gonna be good. The flavor is fine. Yeah, it's not just fine, but it's phenomenal. It's like tricks are a far superior fruit. <laughs> no cereal. tricks is trash, dude. Oh man, that was 
I'm glad you took it though, because now I get I get another one of the ones that I wanted to make up for the gap of cinnamon toast crunch. There's no way. So I'm debating here, looking at my list. I think I know which ones you're debating on. There's there's three I'm debating between. So mm. I I wanted to get two two of the three at least. I guess I will. I want all three actually. Well, I don't want to throw you a bone here and tell you what it is. I'm going to go with. Lucky Charms. No, oh, I had that one too. Dang it. So, I'm happy because Lucky Charms are just a classic. Yeah. I mean, it's about 16% great. <laughs> yeah. That's... And the rest of it is okay, but it evens out. The charms are good. The little weird <laughs> things are yeah. terrible. Yeah. I you can't like, tell me you I would like to those. choose. I would like to choose the charms. Is the I feel like <laughs> for maybe a limited time or something, they came out with a just 100% charm. No, they have like a like an Amish thing or something that you can buy a bag full of just the marshmallows. But I feel like that would take away, honestly, from it because part of the fun was digging through. Yeah, no, tell me. what Like eating Lucky Charms, what is the last thing that you're stuck with? Well, usually what I would do is I'd try to eat up or like take out of the bowl all those little nasty things and then I would save the marshmallows. Yes. And so I just have spoonfuls of you, marshmallows. So you start off by eating just the little wheat guys, whatever yeah, they are, yeah. the little weird shapes. The actual cereal. <laughs> <laughs> the junk. Yeah. And then you're left with delicious marshmallows. And it, it makes it worthwhile because of how good they are. So I'll, I'll take Lucky Charms. I'm happy with it. Okay. Well, I will follow that up with another cereal that has a spinoff that's even better than this cereal. Oh, no. Captain Crunch. Ah, <laughs> what a loser. What? You didn't even take Oops All Berries? No. Well, that's That was your I actually mistake. like the yellow parts of the Captain I, Crunch. I hope you enjoy your mouth blisters. <laughs> I actually, yeah, they are sharp, dude. I, I, didn't I hope that. you enjoy your bowl of knives. That's what, you, that's what you just picked. But I feel like the balance, because the berries obviously are, are what you go for there. But yes. And as a kid, I would only like the berries. And so when we got the one with only berries, yeah. it was special. But for some reason, nowadays, if you would have, I picked, gotta get the whole thing. If you would have picked Captain Crunch, oops, all berries, <laughs> I would have had so much more respect for it because oh. that was my next pick, one hundred percent. Well, technically, they're two different cereals, so you can. I'm not gonna. I, tell I'm, you what I you don't want to know. I don't want to split the vote there, though. That's because true. That would as be, soon yeah. as I pick, oops, all berries, then we're just. I'm losing. You're gonna, a pick. You're gonna confuse a lot of people. I think that's I. I thought about that too because there's also a peanut butter Captain Crunch that was phenomenal. That it is good actually. And I didn't want to take it because I just feel like maybe not enough and, people will know about and it. And you will have a mouthful of sores by the end. Yeah, that that is a there, sharp cereal. Dude. There, I don't know. There is something special, but like it's the way that the milk seeps into the little the stupid little things that it just latches onto the side of your cheek and rips it open. That's true. They taste great. Oh, though. that just hurts imagining <laughs> that, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, so I, I already know where I'm going with my next one then because I had three that I wanted. Um, you took one, and so there's really only one left, and that's Cookie Crisp. No. Don't tell me you don't like Cookie Crisp. I do not like – well, the you, thing is the buildup for Cookie Crisp was – It's like the wheat things of the um, what the Lucky Charms we were talking about. It's like those little wheat things in the milk. That's what it tastes like, and it has little you, fake chocolate chips. I don't on think it. you've had cookie crisp. I have. I know it's, it's a fake cookie. You've lost. Yeah, I mean it's not a real cookie. It was, and that's it why was, it sucks. Yeah, but if you put a real cookie in milk, it crumbles. Well, how are you going to compare real cookies and fake cereal cookies? It's like, cookie crisp, not Chips Ahoy. If it, <laughs> just imagine a bowl full of Chips Ahoy. That would be so much better than cookie crisp. So no, that's because the get, standard I was looking at it You'd through. get crumbs. You're the only one that doesn't like cookie crisp. Not I'm true. Pretty sure. Not true. Kids get overly hyped on it. Same thing with my siblings. Because it's, it's delicious. It I would cookie crisp is one of the few cereals that I will just eat without milk. Like I'll just reach my hand right into the cookies. bag and, and go wild. Might as well buy it. chips ahoy and have real cookies. I'm just saying their marketing is phenomenal though. Because what do you see as a kid? You cookies. see that little fox and a bunch of cookies, and you're like, wow, I can have this for breakfast. And that's the first cereal that you want to try. 
but unfortunately for me, it didn't live up to the high standards that it, it should have as a, you, as a You're an absolute idiot. I cannot believe that you just said that. And I think you're going to agree with me even, even further being an idiot with my next pick, but I'm going to stick with it because it's phenomenal. So Raisin this is a cereal bread. that I, Raisin bread. No, Raisin I came bread. to know this cereal. Um, and it's, it's maybe it's a girly cereal. I don't know. I'd never, but the Special K chocolate lovers is so good you gotta be kidding me right is that now. your last pick yes it's so good that dude. was one of, it it's delicious so good it is so good. i can't believe i stole that pick from you because but i love that so I, I was holding on to that because i didn't think you were gonna take it i didn't think anybody would <laughs> that's kind of whatever key cereal it's it has legit chocolate in it it's, yeah it's pretty much wheaties <laughs> with yeah. chocolate in yeah it. that's true but i guess it's the same thing where you just dig through for the chocolate yeah but the chocolate makes it so good yeah the chocolate and milk too is a low-key oh fire combo. man i'm glad i stole that one from you i, I had no idea that it, it is the and like it's supposed to be a little healthier it's not i'm pretty sure but it's yeah, supposed it. to be a little healthier so you feel okay about eating yeah because <laughs> it's not just sugar puffs oh man it's just chocolate sugar i genuinely don't know what i want with my last pick now I still have a couple from you today. I'm glad I went with the first pick. I know. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I, I was. I was. That you I had was, that one. I was going to give you the first pick because I thought I had this on lockdown. You, know, <laughs> you now stole my two top picks. You really expected me to go hmm, corn pops. <laughs> I, I thought. I thought you were going to go Captain Crunch with the first pick. You seem like really. a Captain Crunch kind of guy. I actually. The, that's the. I have Captain Crunch and Fruity Pebbles at home right now. If the listeners it's are really? wondering, if anyone's wondering, that's. The, <laughs> The two I'm switching between. Maybe I should just undercut your um, your Captain Crunch. Have you had the Captain Crunch with marshmallows in it? <laughs> I don't think that's a combo for me. I've heard of it. I've never tried it though. Was it marsh? Is that marshmallow mateys? I don't. I don't. That's know. no. That's malt meal. Is the oh. uh, Lucky Charms? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. What, I'm not gonna take it because I don't even know what it's called. Yeah, it is good though. Right it's safe. <laughs> it's it's Captain Crunch with Lucky Charms marshmallows mixed know. into it. That's kind of a weird. It's it's, uh, combo. it's the best of both worlds, huh? Crap. Now I'm looking through my list here. He's going to take something K, absolutely ridiculous. I knocked you off Special here. K Chocolatey Delight is gone. <laughs> I took you off your cool. Now you got Man. nothing. You're going to choose the Special K with dried strawberries. And I really don't want to go with like a Honey Nut Cheerios right now. <laughs> don't do it. You know how those taste stale. Okay, I'm, I'm debating between two. And I... I have like two or three more that I could potentially. Choose I mean, I I, I, I have a list and I have probably six more on here. But, but they're, they're, yeah, they're just, a tier, they're a tier below what we've yeah, taken absolutely. now. Absolutely, we just hit like a second, third tier. And so I'm debating between which one is going to be more of a vote getter to maybe be an underdog. And I'm. I think you got to go with the one with the toucan. In my opinion, I mean. Absolutely not. Am I yeah. am I three years old? Oh, I think there's some listeners that like Fruit Loops. <laughs> they're, well, they're dumb. If they like Fruit Loops better than anything we've said. Well, you, you don't know though. Is people right. have different opinions. All right, I'm taking one. I'm taking Frosted Flakes. Okay. See, I can respect that pick. I've eaten a lot of Frosted Flakes, and they're not bad at all. They're they're, they're, they're just classic. And I think yeah. that there's people who don't like the really sugary cereals that might be able to fall back. They're on. really sugary. You mean the corn covered in sugar? And they're healthy. I'm sure they only have like. They're like half as <laughs> half as bad for you. I mean, you, you, can't, you can't say they're cereals. they're worse than something like a Captain Crunch. That's true. There's no <laughs> way. <laughs> the sugar content. We should look at the nutrition That's facts true. too. We should, yeah. when we this is it. not a, like a, a nutritional podcast. We don't know. Yeah. But zero. I, <laughs> do, do we still have one more? No, that would be eight if you took. Um, okay. Well, in that case, I want to give a shout out to, to the other one that I was talking about. Well, there's two. I don't know if you so the other one is was that i was debating between the cinnamon life uh, i've heard about that never tried it. cinnamon though. life is really good but i i don't think enough people know it what do you think about apple jacks they're good that, that's I like the next i haven't i haven't had them in a long time they also had those good commercials though back in the day <laughs> the, the, the cinnamon apple. stick yeah. in the apple oh man that was another one where 
I didn't realize back in the day how much commercials were selling me cereal. I didn't really care too much about the taste. It's like the uh, whatever was going on. That's what I wanted. It's like the the pickle story that I told the other day. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> commercials sell kids on things. I I one hundred percent went to the store all the time, and I wanted things solely because of the commercials. Without parents, I would have eaten so so many unhealthy cereals. <laughs> Instead, I was eating uh, rice checks. <laughs> And I think the only other one that I have on my list that did, we didn't talk about, I mean, I have other ones that should be on my list. Mm-hmm. I was, I just made a quick thing before we started to record because I, I went into this with too much confidence and I didn't do enough you, planning. Yeah. Um, You're not ready. Yeah. We should have done a snake draft. So I should have gotten two picks. We just rotated back and forth. I know, but I feel robbed. There's no way. Um, but the other one was, have you ever had the crave things? No they're good they're like little imagine like the captain crunch little yellow things <laughs> expanded and filled with chocolate and so you're gonna razor That's, blade your entire mouth even more yeah no they <laughs> they are very t- <laughs> <They're> dangerous <laughs> cut your gums <laughs> you gotta go to the yeah. dentist after you're done yeah it if you swallow those things you, you just suck on them oh, because no. that's that's all you can do without oh. shredding your insides but they taste great. And there's there's a lot of cereals that I am 100% forgetting right now that I'm going to receive a lot of hate from my family because they know that I love cereal. So I'm just really sad I didn't get Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah, that's a tough one. Like we said, we are going to be posting this episode Monday the 22nd. So look for the yeah. polls to start that day um, or in the afternoon sometime. We'll start with the first round. We'll have the, the whole bracket posted as well so you can take a look at the matchups. Um, I'll go ahead and read those right now so you guys can get a little head start on your voting Ooh, ideas. Oh boy. So first round, we will have Cinnamon Toast Crunch up against Frosted Flakes. Rest Rip. in peace, <laughs> Frosted Flakes. I'm voting for Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> then we have Reese's Puffs versus the Special K Chocolate Edition. So eh, I think Reese's Puffs Reese's, will take it, Reese's but Special Puffs K is good. good. Special K is delicious, yeah. but I don't think enough people know it. And then we have Fruity Pebbles versus Cookie Crisp, which should be interesting. Cookie and Crisp got that on lockdown. Now. And to round it out, Lucky Charms versus Captain Crunch, which that's pretty much an all-time matchup right that, there. That's a good matchup. That could be like a championship matchup right in the first round. So we will keep you guys posted. You guys will see those polls. Make sure to vote on them. Make sure to share the podcast with a friend this week so we can continue to expand our listeners and have more people voting on our polls. Also, comment on our posts and let us know if we forgot a cereal or if our takes were just completely wrong. Because I kind of like getting roasted. I that's think it's true. Fun sometimes we're going to receive some hate <laughs> about mini wheats or something. The, the oh, mi- frosted mini wheats. The garbage. mini wheats army is going to come after PM in the AM. They better not, because I will <laughs> not eat those ever again in my life. So, anyway, thanks for listening to this week's episode, guys. We will be back next week. Also, feel free to let us know if you have any more poll ideas for us to do. Please, yeah. And we will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.